us. We are also a Jewish nation, a Muslim nation, and a Buddhist nation, and a Hindu nation, and a nation of non-believers. Praise be unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I didn't come home with intentions of doing this, but I've got to do it. Mr. President, you have said that America is not a Christian nation anymore. I beg to differ. For there are still those that sit in this land that say Jesus is our Lord, that live Jesus is our Lord, and show that He is our Lord. And you want us to stand back and watch you destroy the nation that God has built. Only if it's God's will. For see, now is the time for those out there to decide who they're going to decide their own. For we stand at a very unique time in the history of the world. And the Christians, we can sit back and we can watch it die. Or we can fall on our faces, beg God for forgiveness, pray that He'd heal our land. The land that He built for us. My friend, this land is not a, by chance. And yes, Satan might have had it in his mind to take it from the beginning, but by gosh, it was God that built it. It was God that sustained it. And it is God that led it to where it's at today. But today is the day of salvation. So I speak to those first that don't know the Lord. And I tell you that there is a God in heaven. And he made this world. And He's coming back to it. Don't let them fool you. You can claim evolution. You can claim whatever. But I can tell you there's a creator. Because there's no way this thing blowed up and ended up like it is. And if you're dumb enough to believe that, then you need to quit drinking the water. Well, that's what they've tried to do to you from the beginning is dumb you down. They've took God away from you because it's easy to take a society that doesn't have a God and control it. You just make more laws. The people want the laws because everybody that thinks they're an animal just runs around acting like animals. So this is where we stand. And you know, we're not far away from in, in this land that we're sitting at today that if you say you're a follower of Christ, you're going to die. Those going to be kicking doors in. They're going to be shooting you. They're going to be stopping you in the malls. They're going to be asking you Oh, like it this was in this in Yemen. You don't think it ain't fixing to happen? You'll see. And now, I speak to those in law enforcement. Y'all took an oath. An oath to uphold a constitution that they say is dead. Well, it's only dead if you let it die. So God has said that that is on you. You are the ones that can stop that. But those that love the Lord, you've not got much more time. You better fall on your face. You better cry out to God. You better get strong as you can. Because there's some things fixing to come upon this earth. Just read Revelation. It's not pretty. And I know there's those that's been taught all their lives that God's going to jump in there and snatch them away and they ain't going to have to go through all that. Well, you better figure out what is the first trumpet and the seventh trumpet because you're going to hear them all if you're still alive. They won't be many lives. See, it's, we're fixing to have to stand up for our faith. Are you willing to die? My prayer to my God is, Oh God, I pray that you'll give me the strength that when they do ask me who I leave, 
that I can cry when, and look at them dead in the eyes with a smile on my face and say, the Lord Jesus Christ. And when that bullet hits me and I die or they cut my head off, every drop of blood that falls on me out of me will cry out that the Lord God is God Almighty. Are you ready for that? See, I love the Lord. I've been sitting, I've been watching, and I've been wondering what I should do. But I can't do nothing that God tells me to do something, but He's told me, so now I'm doing. And I don't know who this will touch, I don't know who it will reach, but I want you to know something, Mr. President. Yes, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the one that's coming back after His people, you better believe he is still alive. Even your book will tell you that. So now, who are you going to be on the side of? Because, you know, we're playing with some dangerous stuff in this world. CERN is trying to open up a portal to let the demons out. Demons that's been put away for years and years. And there's a key that's going to open that one day. And CERN may be that key. But you better believe that until God says it's time, nothing will happen. For it's not on the Illuminati's timetable. It's not on the government's timetable. It's not on your timetable. It's not on my timetable. It's on God's timetable. And it's time those in America that loved the Lord stood up and said, look, enough is enough. If you're willing to throw everything out, I'm, you know, if you want to be a homosexual, that's fine. You do what you want to do, but don't throw it in everybody's face. Because I'm going to tell you, you keep throwing it in God's face. When he smacks you down, you're going to know you've been smacked. And if we don't do something in this country and start preaching that sin still sin and that people need to live right and they need to act like a different thing than what the world's acting like, we're going to continue to have this happen. We're going to continue to watch this nation crumble. But God said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, then will I hear from heaven and I will touch them and I will heal their land. Our land could be healed today if you'll get enough of us to fall on our face and cry out to God and say, God, forgive this land for the sins that's been committed in it. For the murders of the babies is every day that we've reached even to, we can't even count it no more, it's so many. For the trillions of dollars that's been spent on wasteful things when children are dying with no food. I'm telling you, there's a God in heaven and people's going to pay. What will you do? You better decide what you're going to do with Jesus. Because my friend, that is God. You can let the government be your God. You can let this world be your God. You can let your money be your God. You can let drugs be your God. You can let alcohol be your God. You can let lust after women be your God. You can let any of them things be your God. But I'm telling you right now that all that's fixing to come to an end and you're going to decide Today, who you will serve. And if you're out there and you don't know the Lord and you just feel any little bit of touch, the Bible says, for the day is the day of salvation. If you hear, then harden not your heart, except in the day. Don't, tomorrow might be too late. If you don't think we're already in a one world government, why do you think Jade Helm exercises are going all over the world right now? Think about it. Why do you think that the whole world sets on one uh, monetary bank system? And, and we ain't under a one world government? Whatever. They ain't come pick the guns because they don't have to. They still got you obeying them. What difference does it matter whether you got a gun or not? <laughs> I mean, think about it. God loves you. He loved you enough that he held his hands out on the cross and let them nail him down. 
and had him smite and beat him more than any man had ever been beat. But he didn't die that he said it is finished. Till he said. No man would have lived on that cross, would have made it. No man would have made it to the cross to be hung on it. More or less hung on it till he said he was finished. But Christ did. That's proof of it. The Bible, the King James, you better make sure you're in the right one. You said, what makes you think the King James is right? Do you not think that I don't believe that the God that made heaven and earth can't make sure that he made one book stay uh, well enough that you could understand enough? I'm sure it's been tinkered with too. And so they may be things that's a little unbelievable. But now we're starting to learn things that make even more sense. But everything points to this book being true. <laughs> so, I mean... You say, well, the scientists don't say so. Well, you know, when you are uh, want to keep your job and they tell you you've got to say this, you'll say what they want you to. Because you ain't got the balls to be a man. America, repent or perish. God's warnings are about gone. The days are numbered. You better decide the day whom you're going to serve. God loves you. I love you. My prayer is that you'll find Jesus before it's too late. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let's help the world change its thinking thinking to faith and grace.